If you are not reading it, how will you know the promises of God for you? That means you must read. You must study the words or listen to those who are preaching it. Yes. Either you, you read or if you cannot read, listen constantly to those who are preaching it so that you'll be reminded of God's promises for your life and you say it back to him in prayer. Lord, you are the one that says, I will, not allow, I will, I will prosper you. Lord, you are the one that says, I will not allow your enemies to overthrow you and so on and so forth. So when you believe those promises, God will answer all our prayers. Glory to Jesus. Yes, we need more contribution. Today we are still talking about the word of God, the soul of prayer, part two. The word of God, the soul of prayer, part two. That when we pray, we should not just only pray. We should also study the word of God along the line so that our faith can be boosted. Go to Romans. It says, our, uh, the, uh, we, faith comes by hearing, right? Faith comes by hearing the word of God and hearing comes by preaching it. So if you hear the preaching or you read it by yourself, your faith grows. So reading the word of God helps us to grow. And that is why last week we encouraged all of us to be coming to deepening the faith with our Bible. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. That we should not only read at home, come together in the community of the brethren and study together. Then you go home and read more. All the passages we are using in our deepening the faith, they came from the Bible. We read from Psalm 1 verse 1 to 3 today. We also read from Colossians chapter 3 verse 16. When you go home and you study it by yourself again, you meditate more and you get more inspiration. Glory to Jesus. Yes, we need more contribution. The two questions today says, how can the word of God help us to meditate better? Then, how can the word of God help us to touch the heart of God in prayer? Yes, our daddy has something for us. Glory to Jesus. Honor unto Mary. You see, there are some principles of praying yes. that God will suddenly hear your prayer. Okay. And one of the principles is humility. Humility, okay. The second one is forgiveness of sin. Forgiveness, yes. You cannot soak yourself in sin mm -hmm. and start praying to God to do wonders in your life. Okay. You first of all, for, you know, ask for forgiveness. Forgiveness, yes. If you have a neighbor that you are not in friendship with him, mm -hmm. go to him mm -hmm. and ask for forgiveness from him. Yes. So these are the things that can make God hear our prayer. Okay. Humility. Yes. If we, I don't know the Bible, I don't know chapters. Mm -hmm. There are there are two people that pray to God. One said, "I'm not like that man." Yes. I pray. You see, that is not humility. Yes. But the other one said he looked up in heaven and said, "God forgive me. The I'm a sinner." Mm. And we we learned that God here had the prayer of the other man. Okay. So humility and uh, forgiveness, uh, forgiveness of, of sin. others. Yes. Those are the things that can make God hear your prayer. Exactly. Thank Gl you. Glory to Jesus. Yes, our daddy is encouraging us that for God to answer our prayer too, we must forgive others first, their own sins. Hear what Matthew chapter 6 verse 14 says, in line with what our daddy says. It says, if you forgive others the wrongs they have done to you, your father in heaven will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others, then your father will not forgive the wrongs you have done. Pre simple. So if you want God to answer your prayer quickly, then forgive others their own sins that they have done to you wrongly. And again, he mentioned humility. That's in the, in the Gospel of Luke. Two people went to the temple to pray, the Pharisee and the tax collector. The Pharisee said, oh God, uh, I'm, I thank you very much that uh, I'm a believer in you. I pay my tithes. I fast twice in a week and do all the good things. He was praising himself rather than asking for anything. But the tax collector stood by himself and said, Lord, have mercy on me, a sinner. And what did Jesus say? This tax collector went, went home in right with the Lord. But this uh, Pharisee who was praising himself did not benefit anything. So humility is very, very key to answer prayer. God will help us to be humble in Jesus' name. And today.